A local woman is behind this effort. That's right. Gail Gardner was courageous enough to fight for answers in her own assault that took place more than three decades ago. Her persistence led to an arrest and now a law that will help survivors of sexual assault track the progress of their evidence collection kits from police to the lab to the courts. There to help them, not this tracking system is 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 huge. This is something I would have. Gail Gardner's journey as a difference maker and victim advocate so began now, four years ago. Her recovery as a sexual assault survivor began 35 years ago when she was attacked inside her home in Orlando's Washington Shores neighborhood. While Gail provided forensic evidence to a medical team back then, police lost track of her sexual assault kit. In 2019, she went back to OPD to ask detectives to try and find it. They did. And in 2021, they unveiled charges against Malibu rapist George Gertman, already serving life for rape, alleging he was Gail's attacker. But more important for her is the fact that a new law inspired by her called Gail's Law has resulted in a secure website being set up by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. That way, victims are provided access to barcoded and tracked sexual assault kits, telling them the whereabouts of the kit from collection to lab to police to the courts. This is something I would have never known or never had thought would ever happen. And so now what we need to do is teach people what their rights are, these survivors so that they may become thrivers and help others. Orlando Democrat Linda Stewart sponsored the bill that became law in the state Senate. We are all looking forward to placing power back in the hands of survivors and we'll continue to advocate for survivors uh, of sexual assault. The new law also requires FDLE to process the kits within 120 days. The agency, which dealt with a huge backlog until just before the pandemic, says the average time to process is down to 92 days. What's more, 41 counties are already helping 400 victims track their sexual assault kits, with the rest coming online by the July 1st deadline. I cannot emphasize anymore that this is truly an accomplishment for Florida and will give power to these survivors of sexual violence for years to come. Convicted rapist George Gertman is currently facing 18 felony counts, including sexual battery on seven women, including Gail Gardner, from three decades ago. He's facing trial later this year. Coming up all new on West 2 News at 5, we'll talk with the head of Orlando's FDLE Crime Lab testing unit about this new system to track the evidence. Stuart. <laughs>